bottom of the backpack folks that you find in March break, you know. Oh my goodness. My kids are all grown up and out of the school system, so. Um, to tell you a little bit about where this gift will go, Paul, uh, Kids Help Phone, as you, I think, maybe know already, um, our mission is to provide a service to children 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days of the year. Uh, we service kids over the phone, telephone counseling as well as online counseling. We've been doing telephone counseling now for 23 years. And I've been with Kids Help Phone 23 years come January 1. I tell people I'm older than dirt as far as the organization is concerned. I've watched Kids Help Phone grow from a telephone-based counseling system. In 2002, we were a leader in bringing about online counseling through a web-based counseling service. Where do we go in the future? 2010, we did uh, surveys, uh, quite an extensive survey by our online users who said, email so yesterday, who knew? Kids want to chat, they want to access counseling resources through live chat, through messaging. I just can't imagine where their thumbs are going to go, but we are, I'm very proud to say, piloting a project on live chat. It will in fact, start, the pilot starts this week coming up. Um, live chat will roll out on a much broader scale next over the next 12 months. Um, We've done a lot of research into the development of the live chat program. As you can imagine, our counseling staff is about 75, I'll say 75, 77 paid professional counselors. To train each one of those individuals, to have trained them from telephone counseling to online counseling was a huge leap. We're now a center of excellence for education and training in online counseling capability. We are a go-to place for education of um, social work students from the University of Toronto uh, come into the Counseling Centre in order to learn and develop the skills to, and to enhance their job. We're now in the process of training all of these counselling, uh, all of our counsellors on the use of a live chat counselling program. It's a little slower process. A, I just uh, talked to our head of counseling yesterday and he said they have eight of the 75 counseling staff fully trained. They graduate this afternoon, as a matter of fact. That was the first group. They'll start with a very limited live chat um, pilot, as I said, next week. And then it will develop as we expand our counseling uh, training, which is fairly in-depth. They said they almost have to do it one-on-one. -on -one. So, Paul, this $10,000 today will go towards the education and piloting of our live chat, which will, better, which will give kids better access to the resources and the counseling services that, uh, that they're asking for. I should also tell you that of the, we've received contacts, we have about 4,300 contacts a week from kids across Canada through telephone and online. I can't imagine what live chat's going to do to those numbers. I think it's staggering. I think it will be staggering. But our kids are able, when they call Kids Help Phone or um, text Kids Help Phone, they're able to access the resources that we have at our fingertips of about 37,000 agencies and services across the country. We're the lo we maintain the largest database of children's services in Canada. So province by province, we, we help kids in little, little communities way smaller than Wolfville, not as beautiful as Wolfville, to cities, large cities and centers throughout the country. So I thank you all very much for, and thank you very much, Minister Jennings. I'm just going to take you on the road with me. <laughs> <laughs> you do a great job. <laughs> thank you again, Paul. I really appreciate it. We, this is very special and very significant.